The All-American Qualifiers, presented by first-year Stallion Hawkeye, a six-time winner including the Grade 2 Sam Houston Classic, and by multiple Grade 1 Sire Tempting Dash, both standing at Granada Farms. Fourth Fastest, Day 2, Eagles and Dragons. Eagles and Dragons has always shown talent. He also has had problems maintaining a straight course, which cost him a spot in a lucrative final. The training team of Juan Gonzalez and his son Juan Carlos focused all of their efforts to correct his wanderings. Could have been a thousand things that could have made that happen. Could have been something he saw on the track. Could have been, you know, his just immaturity. Could have been the whip. Could have been, you know, we, we try to cover every single angle when it came to his drifting out. Not surprising that the collective Gonzalez breath was held before his All-American trial. They're off. Great start for Chris Dom. On the inside is no star above, and because I'm a hero with Eagles and Dragons, and as they ramble down the stretch, all eyes on Eagles and Dragons, because I'm a hero from the inside, Christum on the outside, Eagles and Dragons, Christum, and because I'm a hero, Eagles and Dragons. Time to exhale. Eagles and Dragons and Jockey Jaime Leos eliminate the mistakes and make the finals. Leos is as good as a rider you're ever going to get. You know, he's got composure, he's got maturity, he's, he's, he's super talented. And, you know, he, he came into this race very confident. He told me, Juan, don't, don't worry. I'm going to get this horse into the finals. Owner Joe Rios bought Eagles and Dragons privately from breeder Nahum Prieto. The gelding gives Juan Gonzalez a chance for his third All-American victory, one with an important footnote. We've been well known for, for training New Mexico breads, and we've won the first two All-Americans with New Mexico breads. If we are lucky enough and got willing, we would win it. It would be a third time with another New Mexico bread. Tune in to the Cowboy Channel on Labor Day for complete coverage of All-American Weekend.